Hey guys, just going to do a little how-to video today. I had to strip light about four feet of it left over from my safe. And I was actually going to make a light for my reloading press uh, just to see down in for the powder charge a lot easier. And so I went ahead and mocked up some of the stuff here. Just uh, went ahead and cut it and, and got everything set up in advance. But... Uh, Right here I've got a, a 12 LED strip that I cut off of the, the strip there and I already uh, trimmed and soldered the, the contacts on it. Uh, then you'll need a like a wall plug-in uh, power supply here and as long as it's uh, 9 volts uh, or higher on the, on the voltage uh, I couldn't get it to come on with anything less than 9 volts. Uh, 9 to 12 is uh, it's a 12 volt strip so you can you can run 9 to 12 uh, don't definitely don't go any higher it makes the strip the actual backing where the the electricity runs through it'll make that strip real, real hot and possibly melt it uh, of course you'll need some some flux and some solder and wire strippers where I had stripped the uh, the end of the cord here and of course I use a sharp razor blade to trim the end of the contacts and of course the soldering, soldering iron that's off to the side there where it's really hot so uh, let me get this cleared off and uh, we'll start taking it step by step alright guys when you uh, cut these there's actually a, uh, you can see the double contacts, the two little dots, and you cut right between the two lines. And so you need to trim. This is a, a weatherproof stripping. You can see the how thick it is. Uh, if you don't get the weatherproof, it won't have this, this plastic protection on it. But I just, I wanted it because they said that these had a little bit better adhesive on them. Uh, but you have to trim that clear uh, coating off to get to the uh, little copper contacts in there so that's what we're going to do now and then we'll get to uh, you have to uh, flux those and that's where you'll solder your wires onto And that should just peel off. Yeah. Just a little piece of clear plastic. And that leaves, you can see the little shiny contacts. And what I've had to do is take the, uh, the razor blade and just kind of scratch those contacts and uh, make sure that the flux will uh, burn in on them so you can get your solder to stick to it. Alright, now I've gotten the, uh, you can see there, the dots there, the contacts are now silver. That's where I uh, put the flux on them and heated them up and got the solder to stick on the, on the contacts. And then you can trim this to length. Uh, you know, you might not want 12 LEDs, you might only want 6, or you can use the whole strip. And, uh, but like I said, I've already got mine trimmed down to what I needed. I just wanted to show you guys the, uh, the method there. So I've already have, I already have mine trimmed down to 12 LEDs. Uh, I could have fit, uh, probably three more, but there really wasn't any use in it. So, we'll go ahead and, uh, get this uh, soldered up and get it ready to put on the press alright guys I did say I was going to get it soldered up but I wanted to point out one other thing uh, like I would said that uh, these come with a, a plus and a minus Let me get it back here uh, there's the plus side uh, on your right and then a minus on your left and you need to find the polarity of the, the cord 
for these power supplies. Uh, you know, I just pulled this off of uh, uh, just a scrap piece of electronics I had. You know, found that it said 12 volts right here on it, and 1.25 amps is plenty. Uh, I'm running. I'm only running five amp uh, output on the my safe where it has the it has uh, I think probably 12 feet of of lights on it, and uh, so you need to find out the polarity. Now on these it doesn't matter. These lights, uh, your LEDs, if you get the the contacts backward, they're just not going to light up. And but you can just simply you can put them on here and just touch them. If they don't light up, you know, just switch them. You know, once that's plugged in, or you can use a uh, multimeter to uh, test the polarity of it to find out which one's positive, which one's negative. Uh, I've already tested it, and I know that the uh, the negative side is the side with the white white dashed lines down it. And uh, so I just wanted to point that out before I soldered it up here and uh, moved on. All right, guys, there's the finished product. Yeah, not 100% finished. I'm gonna put some shrink tubing down here on this to cover my contacts up. But yeah, that'll be uh, my nice bright little light there for uh, my press. And I'll go ahead and put the the shrink tube on here and uh, get it ready to go on. Alright I've got it shrink tubed and uh, of course soldered up and just wanted to give a little shot here of the press. I'm going to put it right here on this this riser and uh, that way the light will shine this way while I'm sitting behind the press it won't be shining back in my face or anything. Uh, we'll put it right there. I went ahead and uh, I've got the alcohol, rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna wipe that down real good and go ahead and stick it in there and then next time you'll see it's when it's uh, finally lit up and uh, ready to go. Alright I finally got that mounted in there I uh, had my cord run around the other side made sure it wasn't uh, touching any moving parts or anything uh, the only other thing I want to I, I will get to is I'll probably put a, a disconnect plug on this so I can uh, take my cord off and get that all you know, tucked away out that I won't have to have it you know either wadded up or or something over there because you can see the cord runs right across my reloading bench there and uh, it uh, definitely lights it up now I thought of this uh, just extra uses I could use this my leftover strip light on and I actually, before I, I made this, I actually stumbled across the exact same thing on uh, Hornady's website. Alright, I finally got it mounted in there. You can see how much more light it makes. Uh, so you, this is where my powder charge usually is and you can definitely see way down in the casing and uh, that'll help a lot you know just to help keep me you know, for all right I got my lights all mounted up in there and you can see how big of a difference it makes and the only other thing that I'm going to do to this is I will get a like a plug-in disconnect for the the cable you can see here that the uh, cables just uh, laying on my desk or my workbench here my reloading bench and I just I don't really want it all balled up and you know sitting on the other side of this thing I did go ahead and run my my wires down and around the side here to keep them away from any moving parts and uh, now all I have to do is get ready to do some reloading and I'll be set. Uh, this light I did see, I, I thought of doing this, but I actually did run across that Hornady sells a 6 LED strip light, uh, like $15 on their website. Uh, exact same thing basically. I, I think it's about the same length, it's just the, the lighting that I 
had picked up has more LEDs per inch than what the the one Hornady sells. Uh, for what I could see on their website that it showed approximately the same length of lighting but it had half as many. I think it was only six LEDs instead of 12. So it's not my original thought but uh, you know I decided you know I'm gonna make it for myself and thought I'd share it. So I hope you guys liked it and thanks for watching.